Up north, hockey is more than just a game. It's our community. Your team is more than a group of athletes. They're your family. Coming out as trans was a vulnerable process. I was terrified I wouldn't be allowed to play in the women's league anymore. I didn't want to lose my team. Growing up as a queer woman in the South, I saw firsthand that discrimination goes beyond the color of your skin. When I came out, I felt like an outcast, like it was me against the world. For a long time, I had to hide who I was. When I came out, my biggest fear came true. My parents disowned me. They stopped talking to me. As hard as it was to lose my family, I wanted to stay connected to Islam. I started to write, and I found the courage to be myself and embrace my sexuality. By sharing my story, I found other Muslims who believe in an Islam that accepts everyone. As I transitioned, my teammates not only supported me, they embraced me. They changed the rules so I could be included, so that I'd always have a place on the team that I love. I discovered a community of other activists who rallied around me. I'm only 25, but they encouraged me to run for office. They told me, we believe in you. We think you can win. I was always scared to be who I am. I never imagined a world where other Muslims would see me as I see myself. For them to accept me, it's a powerful feeling, one I never thought would be possible. This is what it feels like to belong. Regardless of age, background, and in my case, gender identity. It's about being part of something bigger than yourself. Now I get to stand up for my community the same way they stood up for me. They give me strength and fill me with hope for our future. Together, we're moving in the right direction. This is only the beginning. That's what inspires me to share my beautiful world and let others know that they too can belong.